Talking of the 2020 World Cup and the ongoing tournament, where do you think Pakistan are going wrong? Um, obviously, um, in uh, not so many minutes' time, they've got a crucial encounter against New Zealand, a must-win encounter. Um, they've had four heavy defeats in, against top-playing uh, nations. How do you see things going today, and also where do you think they're going wrong? Uh, well, they're making a lot of little mistakes. I mean, they, they nearly won the other night against Sri Lanka. I mean, they had a bad start with a bat and the ball. I mean, it probably cost them the game by 19 runs, you know. They just they just have to do everything a little bit better. You know, they're not, not playing terrible cricket. It, it's, it's very unlike 2007 where we really came out and played great cricket in, in the 2020 World Cup from the start. You know, we, we got some confidence and someone like Sahail Tandir sort of came in... And just played. He wasn't thinking about anything else. He just played and bowled, bowled beautifully well. And if they get him back bowling well, and I'm not sure what they're doing to make sure he does bowl well, but it, it, you know he's a key player to them to get out there, get some wickets early. Um, he just looks like he's lacks a bit of confidence at the moment. So a good start with the bat, a good start with the ball, and that, that's the difference. I mean, inside Ajmal's bowling beautifully, Freddie's bowling beautifully. They're, they're doing lots of good things. They just just need to play a little bit better in all aspects of the game. The batting has come in for a lot of criticism, uh, Jeff. Uh, do you think the batting order is flawed, or is it just a case of players lacking confidence? Oh, look, I mean, once again, I don't hear this coming from criticism from. I mean, you know, someone that's a world-class player, I think with Cameron Ackmall opening, that's a good thing. Um, yeah, the order's almost just about right. I mean, I, I'd, I'd make sure Ms. Barrel Huck face more balls. So if they lost an early wicket, Malik can go in, but if they... Didn't lose a wicket till the you know seventh or eighth over. I, that's when I'll be sending Misbah, and he's he's such a a thoughtful player at 2020. You know, you, you need him if he faces 50 balls, he's going to get to 70 or 80 or maybe more. Um, so just slightly rejig the order a little bit, but um, yeah, they haven't had a, had a great deal of luck either. But uh, you know, Cameron Acknell's playing well, but just needs to have a bit of luck. But uh, as I say, the only one thing I'd probably do is make sure that. Um, well, two things. Make sure that Mizbar got to face a few more balls and batting up a little bit higher and, and make, sh- make sure forward Allen was batting in front of Shahid Afridi. Speaking of Shahid Afridi, uh, Jeff, he, he, his bowling form is, is fantastic at the moment, but his batting seems to be all at sea. Is it a confidence thing, or as Mike Atherton said recently, is he sort of living in the uh, living off past glories? Yeah, no, look, first of all, he's bowling. I think his bowling has got better in the last couple of years. He's bowling superbly well. Um, he's feeling very well. I just think, yeah, I just think his reactions have gone up. He's got, he's older and he, he just can't hit every ball for six anymore. And, and it's something him and I worked on a lot. Like, you know, you, you're not making as many runs. You can't hit the first ball you face for six. You've got to have a batting plan. You've got to hit the ball on the ground. Um, the f- first ball the other day, he tries to hit morally for six. He can't do that. You know, if he... In fact, for what I should have batted first, and Freddie should have been in reserve and hit the hit the try, hit the faster bowlers. Um, he just needs to think through what he's doing when he's batting. But he, he he's not the player he was five, ten years ago. He's a long way from. It, but he can still be successful if he if he works on a plan. And and certainly I gave him another batting plan to use. He seems to have forgot it pretty quickly though. When uh, you discussed the batting plan with him, Jeff, um, did he, did he actually listen to the advice? Because we we've spoken to a number of uh, former players, coaches, who basically said Afridi does his own thing. Um, was he actually digesting the uh, the information you were giving him, or was it just a case of through one ear and out the other? Oh well, we talked about. It. I mean, we did some work in the nets. This, this is the shots that are best to play. Um, he certainly seemed to be listening and taking it on board. I mean, it's a different thing when you walk out the gate. It doesn't matter how much you practice. When you walk out the gate and take strike, there's different pressures on him, and that's perhaps when he's forgetting. I'm, look, I'm sure he wants to bat it a different way, but somehow his instincts take over and, and the, those shots just come out. Coming back to yourself then, Jeff, uh, what do you prefer then, uh, coaching or commentary? Are you quite happy in the commentary box, or would you be uh, rather be out there with the boys? Yeah, look, sometimes in this tournament I felt like I've been out there. You know, you feel like you're sitting on the bench, you know, worrying about every shot and every ball. I mean, coaching is much more stressful. I mean, commentary, you can make all the judgments you like, and they don't matter. You're just, just telling the, the public what you think. So there's, there's no pressure on in a commentary box. Where, you know, sitting on a, a coach's bench, there's a lot of pressure. But, you know, I like that sort of pressure. And, you know, I think you can, you can actually help the team out quite a bit if, you, if you're down there dealing with all the issues that come along. So, yeah, I mean, I, I quite enjoy coaching. Look, I'm, you know, I watch that the Australia-Pakistan series from the UAE on TV and look, I'm pretty sure if I had been on the bench in Game 3 we would have won. From None for 90, we would have got 180 but it seemed to me no one was talking to them and making sure everybody knew what they had to do but you know, that, that's life and I'm in the corridor box not on the coach's bench. 
Do the boys still keep in touch with you, Jeff? I mean, obviously you, you're still quite close to them, um, as uh, from what you've been saying. Um, are they still in touch with you, or have you have you actually spoke to any of the guys while you've been over here? Oh, you know, I'm in touch with nearly all the guys pretty regularly. I went to went to practice uh, before the first game at Lords, and and we had a long chat, and I'll, uh, we exchanged text messages and emails, and and I actually brought some stuff over from Australia for Cameron Ackmel and, and Salman Button. Yeah, look, they're my, they're my friends. I mean. Apart from any cricket relationship we have, they're, they're friends of mine. I, you know, I, uh, you know, I appreciate them for all the hospitality they showed me when I was in Pakistan, and uh, they'll always be my friends, no matter what the cricket situation is. And uh, yeah, we, we catch up uh, quite often. We'll, we're going to have a dinner with a few guys over the next week or so. And as I say, we, you know, we're more than just a coach and players. We're, we're actually good friends. Final question, Jeff, and uh, once again, thanks for your time. Um, your future plans then, Jeff? I know we touched upon uh, the fact that you're, you're quite happy in the commentary box, but you still want to, uh, at some point in the future, go back to the uh, to the job of uh, coaching. You know, what, what are your future plans? You're obviously back in Australia now. Any plans to, to do some coaching over there, perhaps? Oh, yeah, look, I'm already tied up in coaching over there in the New South Wales system. I actually lecture coaches who are doing coaching courses, and, you know, I've always done that for, forever. You know, you know, cricket's in my blood. I love the game, you know, um... I'm very lucky I get to commentate and, and coach at different levels. You know, if another international job or, or maybe even a county job come up, I'd think about it. But, you know, I've, I've got other options in my life. Being, being an optometrist, I've got another profession, and I'm very fortunate I have got those choices. But, you know, coaching and being involved in cricket is, is something I love, and if the right job comes along, you never know. I might, I might put my hand up for it. Sorry, Jeff, I did say last question, but this is genuinely the last question. Will Pakistan win today? Look, I think they will. I mean, I mean, hopefully they've learned a few lessons from yesterday and, you know, they just need to calm down, take things easy and there's still lots of good things they're doing. Um, just need to eliminate a few little errors and, and they'll be fine. But generally when they're under pressure, as they did in the first round of this competition, they come good. So I think they'll have a win today. Thanks very much, Jeff, for your time. Appreciate that. Pleasure.